Welcome back. This is part two of this series and in this video I will show the first phases of this project. I start with showing the original walk cycle. It is a catwalk walk cycle as you can see from the placing of the feet one right before the other. The walk cycle is 26 frames long and in the final rendering it is rather fast. This is because the reference video that was used is one on Gucci show and these happen to be rather fast. The body mesh contains about 4000 polys and is in subserve 1 which means that Blender has to animate 60,000 16,000 polys real time. Therefore this pace here is rather slow, about 9 um, frames per second and which is further slowed down by recording this uh, video. But this allows us to see details that might otherwise escape us. Let us switch now to a file that shows some ends and outs of the skirt mesh. We see here the skirt as it is in the resting position of the rig in which the skirt editing and all editing takes place. The, to construct the mesh I used a circle primitive, rotated this to a horizontal orientation scaled it in the y direction to an oval shape, extruded it down to about 30 centimeters and rotated the top edge. After this I added six horizontal edge loops and I did some slight editing. The skirt mesh is rather low poly, about 500 polys after applying solidify with a thickness of 3 mm. This should be enough for a denim skirt. I thought it was a good idea to start with a rather wide skirt and the highlight the dots in the front and the back represent the pinning vertex glue. After several experiments it appeared that the best results were obtained with the pinning of only the two edges in the center front and back. Because this is in the neighborhood of the body mesh that will be the least deformed during animation. This will leave the rest of the top rim free for deformation by the body. In the next video we will see how this skirt behaves in cloth simulation. 